Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of my videos. Today, instead of a checkmate in two, I have a checkmate in three puzzle. Uh, but this particular one coming from Sam Lloyd, who, as you know, I've featured on this channel a few times, a very famous chess composer, puzzleist, puzzle solver, puzzle maker, composer, whatever you want to call him. Uh, he um, produced many, many different uh, really beautiful puzzles, and this one is no exception. Uh, so just to kind of remind you on this one, it's white to move, checkmate in three, see if you can solve it, uh, and then I'll go for the solution. Okay, so as always, if you want to skip straight ahead to the solution, uh, it's, uh, I'll put it on the timestamp there. Uh, but this one, it's quite, uh, quite a difficult one. Uh, you need to be very, very creative. But I think one of the main challenges here is um, the rooks would love to be able to give a sort of straightforward, I guess, staircase type checkmate here. So one of the solutions that you probably thought of or kind of thought of was maybe moving the rook up to h8. So then you're able to do a staircase mate this way. Uh, the problem is with this is after king captures on g3, and let's say we throw a check in with g8, the king can always come to h2. And, you know, white would love to be able to deliver checkmate on h1, but he can't do it. So in which case, we have to come up all the way to f7, and whatever black does here. White can deliver checkmate in four, which is nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not checkmate in three. So we need to do something even more special than this. So going back. Uh, so here, um, we have to come up with something very nice. And uh, Sam Lloyd was, uh, he was a lover of um, very quiet moves. And the move I'm going to show you is uh, no exception. He plays the move rook to f4 here. I really like this move. Now, whatever black does here, he's going to be losing. Let's have a look at what happens after king takes on h1. This seems very nice. Uh, so how is um, black able to deliver checkmate here? Well, first he puts his king onto f2. And now that the king has no other squares he can go to because we're blocking off these squares, he has to come to h2, in which case we're able to deliver this sort of back row mate type position with our king and our rook here. This is checkmate in three. So that's a nice solution. But the other one I like even more. So after the king captures on g2, you might be thinking to yourself, how are you ever going to deliver checkmate in three? Because you've got a rook attacked. How are you going to be able to do the staircase stuff? Well, here, the white king can castle. You probably didn't expect, expect that that could happen, but yes, white can castle in this position. Now, whatever move, so, but well, I say whatever move, black has only got one move here, king to h3, and now we're able to deliver checkmate via rook one to f Free. I love it. So this is checkmate. You can see how these rooks are laser beaming down these two ranks. Uh, sorry, two, uh, yeah, ranks. It is ranks. Um, and uh, this king is being dominated by the other king on these two squares. So I really like that puzzle. If you liked it too, uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you share it with friends. See if they're able to solve this particularly difficult checkmate and free puzzle. But as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.